Hi there, I'm Mitch. I'm glad you decided to join me for another episode on layer blending modes. The mode I'm going to talk about in this episode is the dissolve mode. We may as well get this one out of the way early because we can do this briefly. There's not a lot to the dissolve mode and arguably it doesn't even belong as a blend mode because it doesn't blend any pixels at all. It simply replaces pixels. That's all it does. Now the first thing that you need to know about the blend mode is that when the opacity is at 100% it has no effect whatsoever. All you see is the current layer. So to get any dissolve effect at all you have to reduce the opacity to something lower than 100%. When a layer has partial opacity that is opacity somewhere between 0 and 99%, then random pixels will show through from what's visible underneath. The lower the opacity, the more random pixels will show through. In other words, the active layer dissolves through to whatever is visible underneath. And let's go ahead and take a look at that quick. Let's just take the opacity here and let's reduce it from 100%. Even at 95%, we can see where random pixels in our layer on top are dissolving through to the photographic image that lies underneath this layer. Reduce the opacity further and more pixels dissolve and show what's underneath. Using a dissolve is a popular transition in movies and in videos as we move from one scene to another and the effect is similar to what you see here. Random pixels dissolving through from one scene to the next and that's why in Photoshop they call this the dissolve mode. It's the same effect. Join me next time for my discussion of the dark and blending mode. I'm Glenn Mitchell from thelightsright.com. Cheers.